Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week 17 of my travel adventures. I'm in a cafe right now in Chiang Mai. Look the beautiful uh, window decoration. And I was just starting to, you know, edit my video about the immersion here, about the Fruit Winter Festival. And then I noticed, huh, it's Sunday. It's travel update time. So I will just briefly tell you about my week, what I did here in Chiang Mai. I've been here for more than a week now. And I came here to attend the Fruit Winter Festival organized by Brittany and Corner. Sorry guys, I hope it's not too noisy here because I'm right at the street and you know, cars and stuff. So to join the Fruit Winter Festival, to connect with really interesting, awesome people, learn more about the vegan lifestyle and about other topics as well. And also, you know, learn more about myself and yeah. I will just tell you briefly about the immersion, but I actually prepared a separate video about this. So I will probably post this tomorrow or in the next few days. So the immersion was basically like a retreat um, with Brittany and Connor and I think 14 or 13 other people. We stayed in a really lovely resort, a little bit outside of Chiang Mai or like old town Chiang Mai. Uh, it was absolutely stunning. Awesome get together with awesome people. We had um, authentic relating games, which was like the uh, po most powerful thing for me because I really, you know, I have some difficulties opening up to people, and with these kinds of games, it made it easy not easy, but I had the space to, you know, talk about my story and to share what's, you know, about my life with other people. And it was awesome to have this um, support and to have this loving environment. What was really awesome about the retreat was the food. So we only ate, yeah, we basically ate raw most of it. So breakfast, lunch was fruit, which was quite, ch not challenging, but a change because I'm not used to eating fruits for lunch. And at dinner we had super awesome salad and some cooked food. I love the yoga we did and we also did some acro yoga. I have only tried once in Laos and it was super, so much fun, like so much fun to try it again. And I just really love the pictures you have afterwards as well. Um, yeah. I like it. downtown to learn uh, to take part in a Thai massage introduction course that was super interesting as well like to learn a little bit more about it and also to like um, practice basically on someone else I'm 
one day we did a trip to a waterfall. I don't know if you heard about the sticky waterfalls in Chiang Mai. It's Awesome. and I'm so happy like I yeah so happy I joined this whole experience uh, the immersion so after the retreat I moved to a hostel with two other girls of the immersion and been staying there for a few days now and taking part of some of the meetups uh, of the fruit winter festival which was really cool so far so we met once in the near park here downtown I don't know what it's called and there was absolutely wow overwhelming there were like 60 people or so and yeah just really cool atmosphere huge fruit picnic basically some people were doing acro yoga but it was mainly like to connect with other people and be in this space and have the energy of so many cool people Yesterday we went to a lake nearby, also the whole group basically tons of people and we played some um, yeah, games there as well to connect with other people and there was also some acro yoga. <laughs> happy like I'm so happy right now like I'm so proud of myself I made it like I really went here even though I was a bit you know I'm always a bit nervous to try new things but it was exactly the right thing what I needed in my life like after all these months of being more isolated it was yeah it's just so good to connect with people and I made some really 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 good friends like I'm I hope we can all stay in touch. That's the sad thing about you know this lifestyle that people are from all over the world. So you might not see them very soon, but maybe in a few months. So I'm excited to meet some of them again. I hope. <laughs> Another highlight of this week was booking my ticket to Tony Robbins. Ah! Tony Robbins will be in Singapore first to fourth of February, and. 
I don't know, I heard about it in the morning and then I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it and at night, 1am or so, I just booked it, like even though it's so much money, but I just, it just felt right, like, but I'm really, really nervous to go, but looking forward to it as well. So I still have a couple of weeks left and I will probably stay here in Chiang Mai. I don't really feel like traveling at all. I just want to have some time and space to process everything I experienced the last days because it was so much, like so much. <laughs> to get ready for Tony Robbins because this will be so huge as well, like big. So guys, thank you so much for watching me talking like a crazy person as always. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in my next video. Bye. Happy Sunday.